<laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. The fun subject, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm having fun with the subject. I am not necessarily putting a lot of hope nor credence in the whole thing, because but I do like talking about it, man. And this is this Tyson Fury uh, glove thing. There's another um, good bit of evidence that came out, man, that points to exactly why Nevada State Athletic Commission just needs to do an investigation on this glove thing figure out what happened, why these pictures look the way that they look, make a statement about it and hopefully put this thing to bed. Because look, man, there's more enough, more than enough stuff out there in Tyson Fury's past performance now to to say, look, man, just call an investigation about it. Um, Dante's Boxing Nation put out a video today, and this was, I think, another off of another video by the dude, Young Pharaoh, which shows. And I actually went and looked at the fight in the Tyson Fury Christian Hamer fight that Tyson Fury was uh had the fight delayed because of some damage that was in, that was uh some damage to his left glove that would have resulted in um you know an unfair advantage so with this new bit of information and I'll talk about it in that video man I'm going to rehash it just investigate it man no need to no need to wonder about conspiracy theories when you have an investigation but let's talk about that in this video All right. Welcome back to the channel, man. Now, first of all, I got to say this because there's some people that got irritated that I made videos about this because they say and the shout out to Angry Brit, right? Angry Brit, who I like as a guy I really respect on the channel, said, man, we got to stop talking about this. It's making us look bad. Right. This, you know, just the next fight's coming up. So let's just have a hey, that make the new re the rematch with Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Nothing's going to happen, happen out of this in between. And with that, Angry Brit, I agree 100 percent. And hey, man, I, I acknowledge your point. There is nothing that's going to come out of this. I know that I've been saying that from the beginning. There's nothing that's going to come out of this. All right. I doubt very much the Nevada State Athletic Commission is going to investigate it. I doubt even more that if they did investigate it, that anything would any change to the fight would take place. None of that stuff is none of that stuff is uh, is going to happen. OK, that's just the politics of boxing. That's the money involved in it. It's the it's the damage that it, it would inflict upon a new star's reputation because we know in boxing they looking for these big stars and they will do any if they think they can get one. They will do whatever they got to do and create franchise belts, lower computer all levels, do all kind of stuff to make sure that guy stays in that position and that money keeps on coming in. So I don't see with all the excitement going on around Tyson Fury's victory. I mean, I look at news now and the whole thing is covered. That's the UK. That's where you catch a lot of the boxing news out of the UK. Whole thing is covered with Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury. That the world boxing and uh, nobody involved in that is going to be looking to, up to upset the apple cart. OK, because they think they got something. But here's the thing that. Um. That looks funny, okay? <laughs> that glove looks funny. And it's worth asking the question, dude, why is it flopping all the way to 90 degrees? Now, you're telling me Tyson Fury is this great technical fighter, but his, his hand is at 90 degrees when he's punching? That in and of itself is a foul. So you should say, hey, yeah, that's a foul. Yes, we see him fouling in his punches, but we don't believe that his knuckles are in the glove. Whatever you want to do. But look, man, here's the thing. This is why you have to this is why you have to investigate it, because Tyson Fury has a history of this in the past. And this new not it's not new, but because it's right there on YouTube, it's a fight against Christian Hamer. It was Christian Hamer. Uh, Tyson Fury was fighting Christian Hamer. And I remember this. Tyson Fury was fighting Christian Hamer uh, in the prelim to fight. Um, I think it was like a final elimination fight. To for the winner was going to get Vladimir Klitschko, right? Yeah, I think that's what it, the winner was going to get Vladimir Klitschko, and everybody knew who the winner was going to be because he's fighting Christian Hamer. So this was the setup fight for Tyson Fury to fight um, Vladimir Klitschko. And in the beginning of the fight, what happened was that the the referee looked at the left glove for Tyson Fury and noticed that the thumb had come detached 
from the glove. There was like this, there's a string or that connects the thumb, your thumb on your to the glove. So you can't have your thumb out here like this, but tight, but it was cut. Now they said, now they, in when they talked about it, if you go to the fight, look at the beginning of the fight, the commentators, like, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this. And that where that we have to delay the start of the fight because they have got to get a, go get a new glove for Tyson Fury. Cause Tyson Fury's fight with a deflect defective glove. And you can see the guy looking at the, you can see the guy pointing to the thumb. Now, I don't know whether or not if your thumb is out like this, if your thumb comes in here, whether that allows you to bring your thumb inside of the glove or not, right? But if it's not connected, at the very least you do is you got a thumb hanging out so you could thumb a guy in the eye with that, right? That's why they have the thumb connected. So the question is, you know, was that inadvertent? Right. Was it inadvertent that that thumb came out to the side? Right. That it got detached or was it accidental? Don't know. But I'll tell you this. It wasn't in the locker room. That his hands were wrapped and his hands were gloved and nobody said anything about it in the locker room. It got all the way. He got all the way into the he got all the way into the ring with it. And if the referee hadn't if the referee hadn't caught it, he had been fighting with a thumb with his thumb hanging out. With a defective illegal glove. Right? So if you have an instance where you where he's gotten into the ring with defective gloves before, he's also tested positive for performance enhancing drugs. So he's on the record for cheating with that. And then you have people now that are showing pictures of of his fists, his fists at 90 degree angles with what looks like the middle of his knuckles showing in a picture. You would seem that it, that that's enough to make people say, you know what? We want to make sure that we make an official statement that this is all that this is just that we don't believe that that was in any type of intentional foul out of up from Tyson Fury, and we think that you know we addressed the issue. We noticed it in the ring. We've noticed it before. We'll make precautions to make sure that in the next fights that take place in Las Vegas, that whatever that, whatever that anomaly is that we see with Tyson Fury in his fist doesn't happen again. Right. But you can't tell me, but you can't tell me that that's not a reasonable question for people to ask because it is. Now, my personal belief on the matter is, and this is back to what uh, my response to my, my man, angry, angry Brit said was, look, no, nah, man, I don't think I mean, what difference is it going to make? It's not going to make any difference in, in as far as the fight what the what fight happened with Deontay Wilder. And yeah, absolutely. Um, people are going to say that, you know, you're just being a sore loser. Right. And you just need to go on and fix it for the next fight without a doubt. You know, and here's the truth. People might be sore losers. But it just doesn't change the fact that, look, man, if they were if they're uh, grasping at straws, they caught a straw and it's in their hand. What is it? Is that a knuckle? Is it not? If it's his palm, how can you show his palm? Why is he allowed to have his palm out? And how do you make sure that this doesn't happen again in the future? Because the next fight is going to be, I do believe, in Las Vegas. And if they are and if that's the case, they need to do something about it. I don't think that it's um, I don't I'm not purporting to give an explanation for why that's the case. I want to be real clear. I'm not giving any I'm not telling you what I think the case is. I'm not telling you that I think Tyson Fury purposely did something to his glove to manipulate his glove and get it a get a um, unfair advantage over Deontay Wilder. I don't know that to be the case. And so since I don't know that to be the case, I'm not claiming that that is the case. Also, with the thumb thing with Deontay, with Tyson Fury, you know, as far as the fight with um, Christian Hamer, you know, hey, may, maybe you just act, maybe that thumb just accidentally that cord got cut accidentally. Now I'm looking at the cord. It looks like a pretty neat cut. It looks like a straight look like a straight cut. Didn't look jagged. Didn't look like there was some there was I didn't see any. um I didn't see any strings, you know, or or threads hanging out of it where it had just broken by wear and tear. But the referee said, man, he must have been re- hitting really, really hard, you know, in his sparring. Right. Hitting the mads to have that pop open. Like, wow, how hard is he punching? That's crazy. Dude, how hard do you have to punch for basically new gloves to have that thumb pop out on it? 
right? And clearly the judge, the referee thought there was a problem because he made Tyson Fury change his gloves. Now, if I said, hey, man, and you saw a picture, right? Just say you go back to the Christian Hamer fight and the referee didn't caught it, catch it. But you see in a still photo him throwing a punch with his thumb hanging like this. Now, do you think it would be unfair to say, hold on, man, his thumb is hanging out. Why is his thumb hanging off his glove? The thumb's not supposed to be hanging off the glove, right? And I'm saying just, I know that's asking you for a little bit of an imagination, but in the Christian Hamer fight, if they didn't catch it in the corner, because if that ref didn't catch it, he would have been fighting like that. And that would have been illegal. But if that had happened, if the ref hadn't caught it and somebody saw it on tape and was like, hold on, his thumb is not supposed to be hanging out like this. Would you think it would be unreasonable in a conspiracy theory to say, hold on, man, can we check to see whether or not his, how can we know if his glove wasn't tampered with? Right? Though that wouldn't have been, some people would have said, you're being a conspiracy theorist. Right? Now, what's the difference between this? Maybe there was something wrong with his glove that the ref didn't catch. The idea that the ref, that it's impossible that a ref doesn't catch damage to a glove. Come on, man. It can happen. It can happen. Anyway, it is what it is. I love to see an investigation on it to put it to bed without saying whether I think the guy did anything or not. Anyway, it is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.